Hello everybody. Welcome back to Channel Wood Arena. The CAT 320 DFM, horizontal and vertical cutting machine, revolutionizes the timber processing industry. With its unparalleled efficiency and precision, operating this powerhouse involves a seamless blend of advanced technology and robust design. Equipped with a formidable cutting mechanism, the 320 DFM effortlessly tackles tree branches and trunks, transforming them into valuable timber resources. The horizontal cutting feature ensures a swift and thorough processing of tree branches, efficiently reducing them to manageable sizes. This capability is particularly advantageous in optimizing the utilization of wood resources while minimizing waste. Switching to vertical cutting mode, the machine showcases its adaptability in handling tree trunks with finesse. The precision and control afforded by the vertical cutting mechanism result in clean and uniform cuts, maximizing the yield of high-quality timber products. The intuitive control panel allows operators to seamlessly transition between horizontal and vertical cutting modes, ensuring a smooth and productive workflow. The 320D FM's cutting-edge technology not only enhances operational efficiency, but also prioritizes safety. With advanced safety features and user-friendly controls, operators can confidently navigate through various cutting tasks. The machine's powerful engine and durable construction further contribute to its reliability in challenging forestry environments. Enter the excavator, a giant mechanical machine ready to shoulder the weight of this tree's bounty. Its giant claws deftly support fallen trees, lifting them with calculated grace. In a synchronized ballet between man and machine, the excavator deftly transfers the harvested trees to the waiting tractor, ready like a steadfast steed preparing for an epic task. The tractor, with its engine roaring eagerly, became the noble transporter of this botanical treasure. Carrying the bounty of the forest, it begins its journey to the heart of the processing plant. Dust rises when passing through difficult terrain, carrying the lifeblood of the forest to turn into countless products to serve the needs of society. Where nature meets machine, paints a picture of the delicate balance between progress and conservation, as raw materials from the forest begin their transformative journey from harvest to factory, bridging the gap between the majesty of nature and human needs, human civilization. The Viking process has undergone a remarkable transformation, becoming predominantly automated. Cutting-edge technology orchestrates the movement of logs, seamlessly controlled by computers. As I navigate through virtual interfaces and engage with images, the intricate dance of automation unfolds. The culmination of this digital choreography is the upload of meticulously recorded data onto a conveyor. This modernized approach not only streamlines the traditional Viking process, but also underscores the integration of advanced computing systems into every facet of the operation. The synergy between human interaction, computer precision, and conveyor efficiency paints a picture of a cutting-edge and seamlessly interconnected workflow, ushering in a new era for Viking processes. In 2014, T-Mill utilized 213,000 cubic meters of logos, 
1,900,000 8 feet peeler bullocks. This mill provides 150 direct jobs. Forklifts bring wooden trees into the production line to prepare for peeling each layer. The wooden trees are automatically moved up by the chain. Workers sit and control each tree to be peeled. After the trees are peeled, they are transferred to the system of peeling each piece of wood. One hundred three million seventy seven thousand square feet of veneer peeled in twenty fourteen. Forty-eight million square feet of veneer sold to affiliate plywood companies in Quenelle, Williams Lake, and Edmonton. Twenty-four.
26,500 ODT oven dry tons of chips sent to Hinton Pulp. An ODT of wood weighs 2,000 IBS at 0% moisture content. Two thousand four hundred thirty six bundles, nine hundred fifty thousand cores, were sold to Sunder for treating or directly to market. Fourteen thousand ODT of hog consumed in E plant, of which twelve thousand eight hundred ODT were from the bucking station. Energy plant capacity is forty million BTU, British thermal units. Eighty four million four hundred thousand square feet of veneer dried in twenty fourteen. The product undergoes a seamless transfer to the beam and header area, facilitated by a robust crane mounted on an extensive trolley system with a remarkable lifting capacity of 20 tons. In this phase, known as the beam and header operation, the crane expertly conveys the load to length LTL to the gang saw in the feed deck. The hoist elevates the load, allowing it to be seamlessly fed into the gang saw.
The term gang saw is aptly chosen as it employs multiple blades to cater to the varied width requirements of customers. Following the precision cutting process, the boards proceed to the grading deck. Here, an attentive employee meticulously inspects for defects, segregating the flawless boards from those with imperfections. Defective boards are destined for later recutting, ensuring a salvageable length. Next in the sequence, the flawless boards traverse through a wax box, embracing both sides. The waxing process, coordinated with the gang saw cutting, is complemented by the automated application of a grading stamp. The boards then arrive at the stacking operator, where a final visual inspection is conducted for defects and to verify the proper application of wax. The approved boards are skillfully stacked, poised for the subsequent step in the journey through the Strafford. The strapper operator, wielding precision, measures and trims the boards to the required length. Subsequently, two diligent employees undertake the task of stapling packaging wrap and affixing product tags to the boards. These product tags bear crucial information such as length, width, and grade. With the meticulous packaging complete, the finished product is ushered off the outfeed deck by the shipping loader. The loaded trucks, carrying the culmination of efforts from West Fraser Strawn Mill, embark on journeys spanning various locations across Canada and the United States. This marks the conclusion of the intricate and finely tuned processes at the West Fraser Strawn Mill. Thank you for exploring the wonderful modern LVL plywood working process with us. Today's video is over and we can't wait to hear what you think. How did you find this process? Please share your comments with us. If you find the content informative or interesting, show your appreciation by clicking the like button and sharing it with others. Don't miss out on future updates by subscribing to our channel, your support means a lot to us. Stay tuned for more insightful videos in the future. Hello and see you in our upcoming content.